So, we're here in the media room of the Bolton Wanderers Football Club in the stadium, typically where all the press interviews after a game take place. And we're here with two of the boys participating in the 2009-10 uh, Football Studies Program. It's a year-long program here in Bolton, England. So, uh, we're with Merrick, who's from France, and we're from uh, Ryan, who's from Russia. Russia. How do you feel, guys, just sitting in this room, if it was maybe an interview with you after a premiership game? Uh, yeah, actually, it's, it's great to feel it. Uh, we've been in uh, Bolton Wanderers changing room, and we uh, really enjoyed it, and we went on the pitch to make, make a team photo. So it's great to feel this atmosphere around, uh, around us. And so really, the culture and the atmosphere of being around that professional environment, it really gives you confidence and... It uh, helps you to aspire to greater things. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Especially before the game today, because yeah. it's, it's giving you a lot of confidence. Right, and you have a particularly tough game today. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that game coming up. Okay, we've got a game against Preston North End, the championship side. So we played in um, our very first game in this, in this school course, and we lost 1-2 uh, one, to 1. Uh, we're gonna, we're going to win them today, of course, and it's going to be a big game, big battle. Excellent. Now, you guys arrived here in Bolton to the program in September of last year. Tell me a little bit about that first week when you arrived and, and your feelings and your thoughts on being so far away from home, first of all, um, but also your first experience interacting with the staff and the coaches at Wanderers and actually getting onto the pitch for the first time and training. So I came here um, Thursday um, and I visited Friday uh, all the Bolton Arena. So then the weekend I was with my parents and I started the English course Monday morning in September and it was great yeah, because all people are like friends and we can speak uh, English to improve quickly our English and well, so and then in the afternoon we played football and with Jim. Now we have two teams, Team A and Team B. And before uh, we was like 15 players, so one team, and we training hard all day to improve ourselves. Yeah. Excellent. And how do you find the level of the training that you're now receiving here uh, at the program compared to maybe what you experienced before at home? It's it's a little bit different, yeah. It's not, it's not, it's, not, it's it's different, completely different. Because at home in Russia, for example, we played uh, not not we we made, we did not so physical training. Yeah, here we do sometimes real physical training. Yeah, sometimes physical week. So uh, move the uh, train our ball skills, skills on the ball. Uh, also train like defender unit, defensive unit, midfield unit, uh, attack unit. So it works. Uh, we work completely and uh, we improve our all units and it's great. So really you can see how the coaches are now preparing you to understand what life is like in the premiership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Uh, we, we watch, uh, for example, uh, Bolton games and we, uh, we get some experience from this. So as well as train every day, you get the opportunity as part of the program to, to visit the professional games in the stadium yeah. and you get to, to watch the players maybe playing in your position and analyse the game, which is... Yeah, yeah. of course. Uh, analyse all the, all, the, all, the, all the game and uh, yeah, obviously look after a player, uh, player in our position. Uh, yeah, of course, we get some experience. Okay, and as part of the program, you get to live with a, a local English host family. Yeah. How do you find that experience? Obviously, the different culture, it's different to maybe your background at home. How do you find living with an English family? Yeah, that's great. I, it, we live in the same house, so we are very good. Our family they are very friendly, but I think all, for all of players are also good as our family. Good. They they want to have like children for us, Kurt, for mom and so they are friendly and they we can, really, they we, can have, we can have a good time with with them yeah yeah they give us <laughs> almost everything which yeah. we want uh, yeah. so 
they're very polite. They're great. I think they're one of the best host families. <laughs> Excellent. And finally, uh, let's talk a little bit about your English language lessons, which are obviously very important because communication on the field during the game is important, um, as well as it's an important life skill. So um, tell me a little bit about your English language lessons and how your English has developed in the five months that you've been here. Yeah. I think our English has really improved, developed, uh, lessons because firstly we got an English lesson we talk only in English with our teacher with each other and secondly we talk all uh, on the pitch of course we, we have to communicate on the pitch right and this really helps us uh, to communicate on the pitch of the pitch as well with our host family with each other so, so we can ask the teacher all the time so we can speak a lot with them and we can improve yeah, really quickly Guys, thank you very much for your time and I wish you every success, not only with the rest of the course, but in your future careers. Thank you.